Hi right, everybody and thanks for joining. Uh, this is uh, well, a tips and tricks tutorial. These are all the little things that uh, that I do that could help you with your uh, videos editing just to make it a little bit quicker. So one of the first things I do, I don't need to have all this animation going because it just puts more of a strain on my CPU. So one, what I do is uh, I press F6 to bring up my, uh, my uh, preference window. And then I untick Media Library Animation and press OK. So now you'll see everything stopped. But now you're saying, I don't know what they do now. All right, not a problem. If you then put your mouse over the icon, hold it there, it will then go through its animation. So you still get to see what they do. But it just uh, gives your CPU a bit of a rest. All right, so that's for everything, even for your... Um, your filters, alright. So if I just put my mouse over the filter, I get to see what they do. Okay. Alright, so that's tip number one. Tip number two: be nice to your mother. <laughs> alright. Um, one of the things that uh, I've been getting emails on is uh, ripple editing. Why haven't I done uh, a video on ripple editing? Uh, I apologise, uh, I haven't done one yet. So, but ripple editing is done relatively quick and I just never really warranted a, a, a tutorial on it. So I'm just gonna add in some uh, some effects and so forth into my timeline let's say. Alright uh, let's say you've been working on this and you've put everything in its right place and you're happy and everything. But now you've realized that you've missed something. You missed the beginning and you need to add a back background. So if I do that now, watch what happens. My timeline moves forward and my title track remains in position. So now it's out of sync, so that's not good. So how do I avoid that? Okay. If you go over here, you'll see a padlock. If I click on the padlock, I'm basically enabling the uh, ripple editing. Okay. So, that. so now that highlights this one as well. So if I move my mouse over and click on this one as well, I've now locked this track in and I've locked that track in. So now I grab my background, move it, uh, insert it. You will see that this track and this track move in unison forward. So it's still now in time and it's not out of sync. So that's a pretty cool feature. <coughs> Excuse me. And if I add that, say, well, I wish to add something in here, only the clip afterwards will move forward, including the, uh, the title track. Okay. So that's what ripple editing does. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to delete the title tracks. I don't need that anymore. I don't need the ripple editing either. Alright. Actually, let me go right back to a new project. Alrighty. Uh, tip number two or three or four. I forgot. <laughs> That's alright. I'm very forgetful these days. Okay. One of the, uh, one of the things uh, a YouTuber had asked me about how to add in an attribute to multiple clips. Uh, so let's say you work with color, or you add an effect in and you've changed the, the effect in your custom settings, but now you wish to apply that to multiple clips. Well, you can obviously uh, go through each clip and change the attributes, but that's time consuming. And if you're working with colors, that's going to be really hard. All right, so let's grab a filter, bubbles, and I've changed the custom settings and whatever. Uh, first thing I need to do is I right click and copy attributes. And now let's just add in some clips. Just whatever. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, so, Alright, so I've got quite a few clips in here. So, what do you do? Very simple. You highlight the first clip, you hold down your shift key, and then you highlight the last clip. Now all your clips have been uh, uh, grouped, right click again and paste attributes. You will, uh, you will see now that there's a little icon up here which means there's been an effect or filter added to that clip. So now that bubble clip or bubble filter has now been added to each clip. There you go, and it's that easy. Alrighty, that was my very short tutorial on tips and tricks, and uh, as I have more, I will put them together. And as always,
Thanks for watching.